Hi Best Buds, it's Kathy with Kathy's Garden. I'm so happy that you've joined me today. Today is hashtag Tag Me Tuesday, but first let's have our shout out. To Donna, Lenny, Dawn, Lola Gamma, Rosie, Judy, Angel, Joyce, Connie, and Roxana, I appreciate each and every one of you. All right, you guys, this is another hashtag, Scrap Buster. <laughs> okay, so we're going to get our fabric scraps. I've used my pinking shears, and I've cut around the edge of all of them. I have pressed them. I have a little bit of book page, some cardstock, some bigger pieces of fabric, and some more cardstock. I have some jewelry I bought at the thrift store, some baker's twine, some Elmer's glue, my brush, my scissors, my, my vintage photo ink. Okay, these are super cute. You do need quite a few little things. There are a few steps, and I haven't even told you what we're making yet. <laughs> we're making mini fabric swatch sample dangles. Oh my goodness, they're so, so cute. So what you want to do first is get yourself a piece of uh, cardstock. This was just in a packing of some uh, material that I purchased at, I think it was Walmart and it was in the package. So I'm going to put some school glue, some white watered down school glue. How much water to the glue? More glue than water. That's about all I can tell you because I don't measure. So I'm going to get this placed on. I like to do it with my brush. Then I'm going to lay my book page right on top just like this and just press it down. That's all I need to do there. I need to set this aside for it to dry. Now I need to do the exact same thing for my larger pieces of scraps. So I'm going to place my glue right down on my cardstock and I'm just going to smooth out my glue with my brush and then I'm going to apply my fabric so there's one piece right here okay and then here's got a thread right on there here's another piece right here all right now what i'd like to do smooth that out is i like to go ahead and put a little bit of glue on the top just to really make sure that it's glued on to the cardstock that it's firm because you're going to need a backing for your mini fabric swatch sample dangles. What a mouthful that title is, right? Well, they're kind of like sample swatches um, and they're fabric and so and we're making them into dangles. Now they also I think could be cute as clusters. So I think you could also use them as a cluster. But anyway, here we are. So you've got that all down just like that. Now you're going to have to set this aside and let it dry as well. Now I'm going to have a little cleanup right here just quickly. And I'm just going to wipe this off. There we go. That's why I like my glass mat so very much. Easy cleanup. Let's bring in a few of these scraps. We don't need this anymore. So you want to start with a base. Let's look at these first. First, first, let's look at these. This is the one I did earlier for my book page. I put it on a piece of cardstock. And I used, <clears throat> I did four little pieces of fabric on the cardstock. So with these in mind right here, this is the bottom, the, the base of the little dangles. So, for instance, you probably wouldn't choose to put red on top of here. Although maybe you would. I don't know. I would not. You're going to choose fabric that goes with the base. So, um, let's see here. Dig a little bit. Here. This one can go with this just fine this blue and this, right? So let me grab my 
little picking shears. They're not little, they're big. They're huge. They're actually huge. So I'm going to trim this like this. So get this separated. Now I have made quite a few of these that I'm going to show you at the end. Different colors using different parts of the repurposed thrift store jewelry so you can kind of see what that looks like. So we've got our base. So I don't want it to be very big, so let's just decide how about, that's a little tall, because they're many. We're making mini ones. Okay, I like that. That's really nice. Now, what shall we put down next? This one's kind of the right size. Okay, this needs to be just a little bit. Just a little cut here. There. How about that? Oh, I like that. That's pretty. Can you even see that? That's pretty together, right? I like that. What do we want to add to this? Maybe a little yellow. Oh, that's sweet. I like that yellow with it. That looks good. Now, do we want one more or not? Uh, this is very dark on here. No, I don't, I don't want that one. Let's see, do I even want another one? I'm looking to see what we have here. What is this? Oh, how about this one? We'll put that there. Let's finish it off with this teal on the top. Okay. Something like that. Oh my goodness. I love that one. That one looks great. You know what I just noticed? <laughs> my desk is completely full, but I still need one more thing, and that's my hot glue gun. All right, I've got my hot glue gun all ready to go. Now let's go ahead and let's trim this just a little bit more. I'm going to turn it on this side. I'm just going to give it a little trim just like that. All right, so we're going to glue all of this down <clears throat> onto the base. So I'm going to first First, I'm going to glue all the pieces. I'm going to glue all of these pieces together. Okay, so this isn't going to be a flip um, sample. It's going to be permanent. It's just a dangle that's for decoration. So I'm gluing these little pieces together by adding just a little bit of glue. that. All right, so now what I want to do <clears throat> is I want to glue this whole thing onto the base. So I'm going to add some glue here. I'm going to try to place it so it's fairly evenly spaced. Goodness gracious. I didn't do that very quickly, but there we go. So now it's all glued on there. It's not going to come off. And this is where the book page comes in handy. Now, I've already trimmed around it. And I'm just going to cut myself a piece that's about an inch. I need to even it off. It's not even. So let's get that even first. All right, so we have our little piece here, like this. I'm going to fold it in half. And so get this folded in half. I'm going to get my bold folder, and I'm just going to make sure that that's nicely pressed down. This is going to fit in just like this and I'm going to see I need to cut it right before the word and 
Now I'm going to bring in my vintage photo. And because I've used white cardstock, I am going to highlight it just a little bit. Just color it just a little bit. And then I'm going to do the edges. Okay. And I'm going to place this. I think I want it upside down. I don't really want the words for you to read them. I'm going to place this to where it's right where that heavier line is, just so I get this straight. Otherwise, I could possibly get it on here crooked, and I don't want to get it on here crooked. Okay, press that down. Now I'm going to put a little bit of glue on this other side right here. And then I'm going to press that down. Rip off the glue. Whoops! It's so cute already, right? So now I'm going to bring in my little tiny hole punch right here and I'm just going to I'm just going to see where the middle is and I think it's going to be right here by the word from and I'm going to take it in just a little bit and make a punch so it's not right at the edge highlight it just a little bit with the ink then I'm going to bring in my Baker's twine. I'm going to put it right through the hole and give myself a fairly decent amount. Give it a trim. Now I have already removed one of these flat little decorations from this is an earring that I bought at the thrift store <clears throat> and I removed the yellow one. I can't even see it. I put them the yellow one. So I am going to, it has a ring on it, I'm going to a circle, you know, a wire metal ring. I'm going to insert the the string. It, this baker's twine has a little bit of gold cording that goes around the, the string, the twine, and it gives me problems, but I do think it's pretty on there, but it is a problem thing. <laughs> you guys, what is Tag Me Tuesday? I have a Facebook group. I invite you all to join. You do need to um, accept the group rules by saying, I agree, and what are the group rules? Be nice to everyone, and there's no uh, selling. Now, I understand that it's kind of hard to see where the group rules are or where you're supposed to say I agree but if you don't say I agree then I'm not I'm not going to accept you and I hate what it says it says that I denied you oh my goodness I think that's just a little harsh but anyway that's what the words they choose to use so please don't make me deny anybody just agree to the rules of being nice to everyone and that there's no selling and then what we do is I post my Tag Me Tuesday projects on there and I invite you all to show me your version of Tag Me Tuesday pro projects that we've done because even though I do this project when you do the project Yours is going to have your personality and your flavor on it, and it's not going to look anything like mine. Similar, but not the same, and we, oh, we all love to see everybody's creation. You guys, aren't these adorable? They're so adorable. I love them. They're a little bit of work, but I'm telling you, when you get them done, you're like, oh, these are precious. You guys, if you've enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. I invite you to subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you in my next video. I'll see you there, guys. Bye now.